everybody. A wet, wintry day it is today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different and unique and hopefully interesting for you and maybe helpful for some. A lot of you might not know that there is a maintenance part on a trailer that is often overlooked. And in this one it was absolutely overlooked, probably for about 30 years or so. The spring shackles have a bolt through them and a very often a nylon bushing and another wear item is the shackle itself and in this case I noticed that my wheel had sort of that the spring had shifted sideways sort of flopped sideways a bit and that was a sign to me that it was time to repair that replace these I got some off and I took them into a shop, a professional trailer place, and I got the right parts. The right parts key being that these were not original. So somebody had changed them at one point in time and got the wrong parts and just got sloppy on it and put it together anyway, which caused damage. And I'll show you what, I, what the situation was here. This is a spring shackle bolt. And this is a spring shackle, all right? Now, these go through in pairs. Uh, where's the other? Well, there it is. On here, on the bottom, from the bottom of the string to the top of the spring, and that's what gives your lift off the ground. You can have uh, taller or shorter ones to raise or lower the amount of lift you have between the bed of your trailer and the ground. So, a lot of off roaders, they put risers, they put higher. Uh, longer pieces on their springs to get higher ground clearance. I did that once I had a Jeep long ago Now oops, I need that one back the problem is That these wear These were originally greasable, but I highly doubt anybody greased them and The problem here is that they couldn't find the right size and so they put too short a bolt in and the spring shackle was resting on the threads, which then caused damage and a wearing out of the shackle where you can actually see thread marks in there. I don't know how well that shows up. You can actually see the thread of the bolt pattern in there worn out and it's oval shaped, not round. So that has been damaged and destroyed because they had the wrong bolt in there and that just they wore on each other creating a mess and wobble and slop which then caused where look at that groove that's why my springs were shifted sideways and flopping back and forth that war once these got floppy in here all right that allowed everything to shift really bad and wore on the springs causing damage to things so, fortunately, I was able to get the right bolts today, which are what should have been put on many years ago. The difference is the threads. This bolt goes out further before the threads start, and this is what should have been used. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put these on as well as I can. It's raining out. I've got my Arctic waterproof gear on and I'm going to do my best to show you as I work what I'm doing and how you can uh, prevent, well, uh, prolong the time in between replacing these on your trailer by uh, using grease, but also checking it from time to time and replacing the bushings, which are just a nylon piece go over the bolt and create a little bit of cushion on there and it also dampens sound on your suspension system on your trailer while you're going down the road. A lot of them get, get these creaks and squeaks and groans. Well these will help eliminate that and extend the life of your parts. So let's get to it. I had to get some grease. All-purpose grease. Comes in a can. This stuff happens to be red, sort of thick, and that 
is going to be helpful. And I've also got this jacked up. I don't know if you noticed over here on the side I have a jack that takes the pressure off the springs so I can work on this. Some heavy, heavy, heavy duty tools might be necessary depending on the age of your trailer. Mine is, uh, what, 50, 60, 70 years old. So I've got a massive, massive wrench and a overkill massive <laughs> socket. So, um, by the way, I used WD-40 or any type of a lubricating, rust uh, freeing uh, fluid and it helped a lot. So now I'm gonna take the new bolts and I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna have to open this if I can. This will be a minute. Okay, now, I have locking nuts. All right, so these are special, really special locking nuts. So um, I'm not gonna worry if, if I get grease on the thread on this, because they're not going anywhere. It might actually help me get these started because these are really tough to get started. I think he told me there's an indentation there, and I believe that comes goes outward. These are not not easy. Maybe it's the other way on this one. Well, there's one way it goes on these, and one way it doesn't. Maybe I'll try a different one. Because these are special. There's one I left on at the shop. Good. Um, there's an indentation in that. Oh, this one has smashed star pattern on the uh, inside right right there see those three indentations on the side of that lip of that knot right there so that indicates that part is out so there's on these other ones there's just a tiny tiny little smashed indentation on there i don't know if you can see it yeah you can to show that that one goes out now, this is tricky yeah, anyway, I'm going to try another bolt and another one. So, you definitely need your bushings. These fit snugly on here, but not too snug. And uh, they can roll and spin and slide and turn. I'm going to grease this up pretty heavily and then slide it all together. Because I want that... That's overkill. I want that to... Uh, to last for me. And then slide this on. I'm also trying not to get it all over my gloves. As little as possible. Alright, get that on there. A little overkill. I'll uh, scrape off the extra. And I'm actually getting more on. Won't matter. Alright, now I also want some on the outside of that. That's some thick grease. All right, I'm gonna get my gloves messed up regardless. That'll go through one of these. I gotta put that on first, actually. I'm trying to do this on camera. And now that is on. Put that through here. Put that on here. And slide that through here. And mine doesn't take it. Uh-huh. I'm going to have to go without on this one. Interesting. There's pressed in brass fittings on here. So the plastic bushings are not going to help on this one. Not today. Not today. Without it, it's a little bit loose. And with it, it won't fit. Okay. So what we got here, I see some thick, thick brass uh, bushings have been pressed in there. And what I'm gonna do is just use this for now, and I'm gonna probably take it to a shop in the summer and get them replaced nicely then for me. I want a lot of grease on that, though. Now here's the thing, these are going to have to be pounded in pretty good because the, the bolts have a knurled edge 
right here. And that's gonna take some force to get in through here. Meanwhile, let me get some grease on another one. I'm probably gonna get that up on there. Yeah, my gloves are gonna get trashed, that's all right. And then through here, good. And then another one of these on the back side. Yeah. It's awkward trying not to block the camera as I go. All right. And then we've got our locking nuts, which is going to be a uh, chore. So I'm going to shut off the camera while I get these on behind there. With I won't be able to not block the camera, but I've got to get them on. Well, once you get it tight and snug, I should say, then you back it off half a turn. You don't want these torqued down too tight. You're going to cause excess wear on your springs and on the hanger on the trailer itself. So there you go. This side is done, and I got to do the rest of them, but you don't have to watch all that. And don't forget the one up front, too, should be replaced at the same time you, as you do these. But I just wanted to share with you how I'm doing this, and the rest is pretty simple. Uh, you're going to need some decent sized wrenches, though. A torque wrench would be even better, or a uh, impact driver, I should say. Air impact wrench would be even better, but it's awkward in the situation I'm working in outdoors. Anyway, that's it for that. Very simple video. Something a lot of people probably are not aware of is watching these and replacing them as they wear. Please do like this video. Subscribe if you haven't, because you really never know what I might do tomorrow. Well, got to finish this up. Talk to you guys later.